Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the language and the words we use every day. If that's the sort of thing you're into, subscribe and click the little bell so you never miss a word. Let's take a look at a very modern word with a very ancient origin. Delete. Verb. To destroy information without harming the medium that contained it. History and etymology. What made me start looking into the word delete? was that it only seemed to be applied to computers and technology these days. I wondered why delete became ubiquitous for computing, while erase was relegated to pencils and paper. When I found out the Proto-Indo-European root for the word delete was sly, which meant slime, slimy, or sticky, and is also the root for those words, or slime and slimy at least, this word became linere, in Latin, which meant to smear or wipe. The prefix de was put in front of it, meaning to move away from, and it became delinere, which means to dab or erase by smudging. This goes back to something I mentioned in my video on the word book. In ancient Greece and Rome, one of the primary tools used by students and teachers were wax tablets. These tablets were used by etching letters into the wax with a wooden stylus. And the primary benefit of these tablets was that the letters could be removed without destroying the writing surface. They would simply use the flat end of the stylus to smudge or smear the letters away and bring back the smooth surface for writing. This was deleting in ancient Greece and Rome. The word delete makes much more sense in a technology way when you understand the origin of the word and when you're using the magnetic medium that contains the data and then you can remove the data without destroying the medium it's stored in delete works much better whereas the word erase on the other hand comes from a word meaning to scrape scratch or shave which implies more destruction of the surface rather than just smudging away the content. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I would love it if you could share these videos with your friends, especially if you think they would learn something from them. Until next time, keep on learning.